So wait, are you going to do that thing where you count down the two and the one? I did. You already did it? Are you telling me we're live right now? We're live now. Double. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly... I, I had all these expectations, and now I'm just limp and flaccid. That was me walking away. Was it convincing? That, <laughs> that, that, no, I didn't hear a thing. I, you just went silent. Right, let me try again. Speaking of silence... Welcome back. We're doing Log Horizon, the tabletop role-playing game, where you and perhaps your friends realize you're in a machine and the machines are in control and are using your bodies as batteries. That's my understanding of the theme. That sounds right. It sounds accurate. It does. Yeah. Okay. Now, wait, who was, who was talking there? You were. I was talking, all right, I thought someone was trying to get a word in edgewise. Nope. Speaking of Never. edgewise, we're still playing this game, and I'm going to introduce us all now, because that's what we do at the start of every video. Mm -hmm. Naturally, we've got White Caliber playing True Man Wiser. How are you today, sir? I'm wonderful, thank you. And you? Oh, you know. Yeah. 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 I do know. That, that was good. Let's move along now. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> we've got a uh, we've got an internet celebrity in here, and I don't mean myself. Huh. Huh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, it sounds like uh, laugh track. about me. Ah, uh, yes, that was about you. It's D Davis, our chimp, our chimp. Hello, everyone. How how are you doing, man? What's up? Uh, I'm doing okay. Okay, I got a package coming with a motherboard. It's gonna be great. Ooh, fancy! Why don't you tell us about your motherboard? Uh, say socket eleven fifty. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't, don't stop! Don't stop! <laughs> it's for the Intel forty seven ninety. Oh what my up? god! Are you gonna overclock that big thing? <laughs> No, because I don't know much about overclocking, and it's probably fast enough stock. I was so close, and then you just <laughs> left me hanging. I'm, I'm sorry, you but should not be like, really. Oh, yeah, I'm going to overclock this thing to like 50 to 100. There's going to be smoke rising from the top of it, because I didn't put the thermal paste down properly. <laughs> I, I don't want that to happen. That'll be great, because you can cook some ribs while you play your video games. I don't think that's healthy for a computer. Well, who cares about the computer? I mean, yeah. as long as the ribs are cooked well. <laughs> I'm not going now. Good day. All right, it's all right. Nonsense. So we've got uh, Siroshi being played by Michael. Yep. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty all right today, as it happens. Yeah? Yeah. What's been going on? Fill us all in. Uh, I've just been, you know, relaxing, uh, hanging out. Relaxing, um, maxing? Yeah. Shooting Keeping some b-ball outside of the school? Yep, and it went great till you know, a couple of guys showed up. I bet, but that's your favorite thing. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if Farrell's completely with us. I think he's here. I am. You're here? Yep. All right, we have, uh, Minati... Played by Feral Knights of uh, drawing fame. Warframe oh. fame? Warfame? No, drawing. Oh. The Artsicles, as they're known. What's up, Feral? Oh, you know, the usual. You sound, uh, you sound flaccid, like, uh, like Chimp left me. Yeah. I um I have tea. Well, that's good. You drink I have that tea, tea in a giant mug. You've got a giant mug. You've got tea, and then we'll, we're gonna send uh, Mike around to be a fluffer or something. <laughs> <laughs> My no, favorite. No job. thanks. No, well, it's not optional. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you signed a contract. That's right. That's right. I I'm of course. Nothing. Uh, Thank you. Oh wow! Well, you signed it in blood. At least I think it was blood. <laughs> Now I'm I uh, I'm Matt Prime. Oh, I have a great one. I'm Matt Prime, aka Skaggy, 
aka caffeinated smug you should watch me on twitch haha <laughs> so plug it's how are you doing smug mm. how are you doing smug oh i've had a bit of a day but it's better now why is everyone so down god i don't know i'm fine i don't know what's so up down. with these losers yeah, no, yeah seriously. we're all losers. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy and excited to be me because I'm great. So well, that's I don't know what you're talking about. D. Davis is all looking forward to his package. Yeah, D. Davis I, uh, all I am always looking forward I was, to my package. I was like not going to make that joke. <laughs> I didn't make a joke. I just said he's looking forward to a big package arriving. Looking forward to getting his hands on that package. Yeah, it's uh, probably yeah. too big to fit through the mail slot. So mm-hmm. you know. it's true. He's gonna. It's Can't wait jam to it in it. there, you know? Enough patience, enough it. lube. I, I don't know what speaking, you're doing. Speaking Speaking of lube, let's not forget our GM. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> don't think that's a good segue. <laughs> <laughs> what? But how does one in the other It's He's it's the lubricant that me. keeps the story gliding along smoothly. There you go. That's <laughs> how I that's true. Oh, I yeah. know. Oh, I would. I just realized uh, I had to stream all kinds of wonkers there. Sorry, viewers. He also keeps us doing, nice Steve? and smooth. Yeah. How you doing, smooth, Steve? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, everyone keeps asking me that, and it, it, it's really not changing. I've got coffee. <laughs> well, if you got coffee, then you're fine. That's right. I'm living up to my namesake. That's true. I have coffee, How are you, too. smug? How am I? I'm, I'm seated. That is his position. He's seated. I seated. I'm oh, feral. I thought like he's seated, like, you know. I'm conceited? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> now, when last we uh, got together, I believe we were doing some form of tutorial fight where we were actually all going to stab max damage in the back. Yeah, I was really looking when... forward to that. Yeah, no, we were going to stab him in the face. Stab him in the face, <laughs> the back, the sides. But then he was saved by the bell. He was, yes. It's all right. Because the teacher was going to pop a test. Is that a euphemism? Yes. That's definitely how this game was going to go. I We're starting it. high school aged. It's going to be high school Lock Horizon. Actually, we're not. Uh, <laughs> says the guy who sometimes teaches it. It's not happening. All right, then. Um, so as I wrote up for you guys, we were going to go ahead and start uh, a little differently from the basic Lock Horizon setting, uh, mostly because, it, you know, we're North American people, so it makes more sense to be in the North American server. Plus, I can distance ourselves from, you know, the uh, events in the Japanese server, which is where the anime and all that stuff happens. So I can do whatever the hell I want. So like some kind of GM. I'm wearing so, a kimono for nothing is what you're saying. You can wear one. I mean, hell, it's, it's it's Vegas, man. You can do whatever you want. What happens here stays here. Oh. Oh. We all know that isn't true. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. But. Not anymore. It's true. We have Facebook, some sort of different Instagram. slogan. I don't remember what the new slogan is, but anyway, uh, I also wrote a a thing, a handout. Yes, you did. Whoa. Whoa, it's fancy. Behold the wonder of uh, Roll20. Would you like Indeed. me to, to read your setting document? or is this Sure. It, it's a handout, but whatever. Go, go for it. Sure. Yeah, read it out. Okay, I'll read it out. Yeah, read it out. I'm doing that. You do it. Vegas, the golden Vegas, city. the golden city. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adventurous city located east of the major hub, South Angels. Through about 100 miles of the worst terrain imaginable. Dry desert climate with every square mile absolutely littered with high-level monsters. Fortunately, its mystical defenses are top-notch, and accessing the city is easily done through a fairy ring, taking one from South Angels to the Gambler's Paradise in a matter of seconds, depending on CPU power. There, people find that the Golden City is truly an oasis. No, I hate it. As a writer, I hate reading my old stuff. It's going in the trash. The city itself is centered around the Strip, which is effectively one very long street. At the southern tip of the Strip sits the Little Chapel on the west. Real location, by the way. Just the tip? Which Just is the, tip. the city's <laughs> cathedral. 
It said Elvis sings for you upon your respawn, but few people ever die in Vegas. There's also, of course, the infamous sign mirroring real life, sitting right in front of the fairy ring. There it is. Proceeding north has every kind of casino imaginable, but while the lights are similar thanks to magic, the buildings are much smaller. Instead of huge constructs designed to be self-contained, each building has a specific type. Poker in one building, blackjack in another, and horsebird racing in another. I'm totally not getting sued with that. <laughs> horsebird? I've never heard of that, though. That's <laughs> totally unique and legally distinct. It totally is. At the north end of the strip towers the Atmosphere, which is a highly popular combat arena situated 100 stories up in the air. Also a semi-real location. The town is run by Oscar, a human lander. He lives also in a, a semi-real location. Uh, actually, he's padding yeah, off our mayor. Mayor Oscar Gooden. Oh, not Oscar the Grouch. No, unfortunately. There is actually, if you go to the journal tab at the top right, there's an entry that you should be able to see for him. You don't have to read it, but if you want to, it's there. I will look at it. If I you can, can see that guy's schnoz. I totally don't see it. Oh, well. I see characters and handouts. Oh, yeah, it's under Oscar. characters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I'll show. I'll show the viewers. Excellent. So Rather I didn't write that off for nothing. <laughs> no, do I? Okay, I'll read. I'll read it too then. Sure. Was you're just saying you wrote it all for nothing? I don't want to let you down, Steve. I'm already <laughs> feeling under pressure here. Are you, Steve? I want to let you down, Steve. <laughs> I want to disappoint you so badly, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> How can I bring you down today? Oscar is the mayor of the Golden City, but few people recognize that. In truth, Oscar is more of a spokesperson than a real mayor. He is commonly hosting events, hyping atmosphere arena bouts, and generally promoting the wealth of the Golden City. Rarely does Oscar appear without his two foxtail lander attendants, Migi and Hidari. And of course, he's always got a martini in hand. Sometimes he calls it a Migitini. Despite the lack of being a real politician, he's amazing at doing what he does, making Vegas feel golden. Does that mean that he's showering down upon it? Yes. Regularly? Showering it with his wife. Sure. It's true. It's what he's doing. That's not what I was getting at. <laughs> sure it was. Well, it's, where we, it's where we were directing you to. What do you think the economy is built on in Log Horizon? Money. Yeah, probably it's actually yes, built on. Trade. You have to watch Bitcoin? season two to know. It's spoilers. Is it a sex trade? No. <laughs> is it? Is it foxtail trade? Yes. No. Is it foxtail <laughs> furs? They're like skinned and sold, and that's why Max damages friends with the Nani. Oh, <laughs> damn! Plot thickens. <laughs> because I'm just interested in getting that sweet fur to sell. <laughs> I'm actually the most elaborate Trevor on the game. <laughs> I'd say you were grooming her. D. Davis Playing is actually a, a time traveling, like, 1850s fur trapper. <laughs> Come to the future. I'm, I'm going to get all them fox people and I want to put them in my trap. I'll get her on tea. I'm a cage. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, Everything so. in my head hurts now. <laughs> okay, so how we're going to start this is um, we were going to take sort of the situation where all these people have been scammed by max damage, so they thought they'd get a little payback. Um, first by kind of getting in with Minotti, and then, you know, Minotti being of the sort to teach Max a lesson, because she's, you know, ostensibly his friend, uh, lure him into a dirt lot, and then PK him. Excellent. Then he can meet Elvis, sucker. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's going to be a uh, setting phrase. We're going to send you to meet Elvis? Yes. It'll happen. Anyway. Uh, so, so I thought we'd start there. Be some way to doctor that so that it matches with Elvis has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
we'll, we'll and my cat says hi. We'll yeah, we'll all this we'll figure out building later. It's true. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Um, we're totally just going to start there. Basically, what was going to happen was you guys have set this up. Max is probably in his little hidey hole, a uh, little little away from the strip. It's a dirt lot behind one of the buildings, and uh, you know you had to go offline just to get the update for the, you know, the new. Ah, I'm getting beat dead. Uh, go offline to get the new update for the expansion, and then once you log back in, well, all of a sudden, you can feel the warm air of the May heat of the desert. And uh, the setting, you know, you know it just because you've been there several times, but it's still strange because, well, you're actually seeing it. It's not on a monitor anymore. And, of course, uh, Truman Weiser feels much, much hairier. Janice, where'd you put the Rogaine? <laughs> Did you switch it with the mushrooms again? This is really weird. <laughs> This Oculus Rift was the best money I've ever spent. Something isn't right here. I feel my senses more in tune with my surroundings. Yeah, for Sirochi, this is just like the best thing ever. <laughs> this is like a weird movie. Yeah, he's struggling. He's struggling to like keep to stay in character, but he's managing. He's struggling Nothing. With his pants on. <laughs> oh, why is my tongue so rough? Oh, this is gross. Minotti falls over. What the hell? <laughs> so where were we? are we again? We were uh, basically right. in a dirt lot behind one of the buildings. Oh, this is where we all logged out. Yeah, you were planning an ambush. Basically, you're kind of on a small hill. Um, there's a big building kind of to the west of you, which is currently casting mostly a shadow over you. Uh, to the east, there's a little small shack that Max probably hides in sometimes. Who knows like, whether he's in there or not? Like all weak players, you're probably like really obvious about it, too. You know, yeah. We're, go we're gonna get that guy. He tricked us. <laughs> yeah, we're just shouting about it on trade chat. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I feel much taller than normal all of a sudden. <laughs> Says the dwarf. That's the joke. And that Staggy is cry is one of, oh my god, I have tails. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the tea where we weren't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You always have tails. And I always have this magnificent beard. <laughs> I have hair everywhere on my body but my head. I recall having a jolt cola. It's gone now. What the <laughs> hell? I snored. That's a good one. <laughs> also, uh, Dragon Slayer has got a great idea for you, Steve. Skaggy. Was uh, w what happened with this update? Why is everything so, you know? I don't know. You have to tell me. Why? Why do I feel like I am a dumb cat person instead of just playing one? I've got to be honest. You've never struck me as a high intelligence person. Damn. <laughs> and all do the not years be we've alarmed. Known each other. You have merely become what you truly are. It is the same for all of us. I no, feel like no, I'm not a cat person, man. I just this was the default. I feel like Shirochi is using out of character information. <laughs> I do not know what you are talking about, Sir Dwarf. This isn't the roleplay server I remember <laughs> logging into. In any case, it doesn't matter. It's max damage must die. Yes, and about yeah. that, what's Max doing? Uh, he is um, searching through his shack for his jolt color that he definitely he's recalls having. Just he's just rummaging ago. through the trash. Pretty much. <laughs> it's like, where did? Where is it? There's and, no jolt color in sight, dude, but you can roll a perception check if you feel like it. Oh, 
can I now? Yeah, it's 2d6 plus your pow mod. Plus my pow mod? Pow. Okay. Pow. Power wheels mod. I will roll that thing you said. As I am rummaging through the many empty cans that are distinctly not branded correctly, because it is video game, what what do I see? You see a big carton of milk. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you know, it's a hidey hole. It's not really your living space, so it looks pretty much just like, you know, you probably didn't even treat it like a house. It's just like you dropped items and then just didn't even think about it anymore. So it's, you know, crap strewn about everywhere. There's decidedly no jolt cola. Damn. There's what a jolt? J- ah, jolt! My second favorite of colas. It's an empty can, though. Oh. This new anime life is the pits. Max Damage has <laughs> already decided. He's put two, to, two and two together by now, certainly. I mean... There's no keyboard. He can't even control shift escape. Only in an anime world could someone be so cruel. Indeed. It's true. So while he's looking around inside his shack, there's suddenly this booming voice that sounds out across the dirt lot. What the hell's going on here? And then we have a scene changes. Ooh. Is that Falkhorn Leghorn? Are we gonna are we gonna meet him? <laughs> I hope so. I say, yeah. I say. What the hell's going on here, concert? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I just just got the new update, and now shit's all weird, man. Well, even as you're starting to explain that, there's several guys that shuffle out of the basically the buildings around you. Oh, hey, and friends. No, they look very shifty and menacing, and especially the big guy up here. Oh, it's a good thing we're not on a PvP server. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that's not how this works. So how how are we going to kill max damage now that I think about that? Well, this is probably outside the safety zone. I thought we were going to take him to the arena thing. Uh, 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 I'm all discombobulated as well. <laughs> Truman. Why don't we just log out and... You can come on around, and we'll see what's wrong with our computers. That's a good idea, man. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just hash, yep. hashtag log out. Yeah, Skaggy sits down to log out. Doesn't seem to work. He's gonna wait twenty on your seconds. Little... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you uh, hit the button on your, uh, you know, in Lock Horizon, you actually have these menu scopes like uh, augmented reality displays that just like kind of pop up in front of you. Like, like in CSU, yeah, uh, and you can like actually tap them for you know positioning buttons and stuff like that, but it it doesn't work. Nothing happens. Mm. Oh, god. Oh, god. oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Am I in combat? I can normally log out unless I'm in combat. And Truman is is trying to bring up the menu, but like he's never really able to get the gesture right, so he just thinks he's doing it wrong again. So he keeps <laughs> doing the gesture over and over again. Skaggy, is it is it working? Are it's not working, down? Truman. No. Oh, man. Nah, I'm st- I'm still here, Wiser. I'm here. Oh man, that's that's not good. I gotta go pick up my kids from soccer practice in an hour. <laughs> you have kids? You don't you don't have to lie like that, Wiser. We know you haven't seen your kids in years. <laughs> that's hey, I I see them. At the soccer uh, field. <laughs> Sounds to me like Truman Weiser has some sort of drug problem. The shifty looking guys are kind of looking uncomfortable at the moment. Mostly as a combination of like, you know, they're also disoriented, but at the same time, what you guys are saying is definitely putting off, off their game. The life of an assassin does not allow one the luxury of family. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Source dramatically poses as he says this. For okay, some reason, man. the wind comes up and carries his cape. I hope Minati's just, like, chasing her tails. <laughs> no, no. She's trying to, like, 
stay like balanced because <laughs> that's a lot of weight to suddenly have. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and Truman's got these big old cat paws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to roll my seven tail variety <laughs> can't, too. Can't hold anything at all with him. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing the commotion outside of his little shack, Max Damage looks outside and says, "That's a good question. What the hell is going on?" Oh, oh, crap, it's Max Damage. Max Damage! damage. Your uh, life is forfeit! Uh, no, 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 <laughs> ignore him. Hey, Max, come outside, come outside. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Mickey. Hey, man. Seems like a bad scene, man. <laughs> he just closes the door. <laughs> <It's done laughs> all. D. Davis just logs out. Real funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah! Anyway, the huge dude in the... Um, which one is that? I think that's initiative. Bullvark. No, I'm talking about Bull- seven tail Brody. Bullyank. Carol's roll. Um, number five is yeah, initiative. initiative plus yeah. four. Just modify your number there. Yeah, Bullvark notices the face in the shack door and him seems to pull himself together all of a sudden. And starts Isn't laughing. Isn't that backstabbage? Uh, yeah, I gotta kill that guy. Said. Oh. <laughs> oh, piss. Isn't that internet celebrity Max Damage? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are, Max. You know this guy because you probably scammed him before. In fact, you probably scammed everyone here. Like, literally everyone here. Even PK Pirate. Uh-huh. Even PK Pirate. Oh, PK P- I'm so sorry, PK Pirate. <laughs> you scammed him the worst. Uh, well, to be fair, he was really dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Bulwark is the same way. He's kind of dumb, but you kind of also know that he's really dangerous. He's he's one of the dudes that are like really involved in the atmosphere combat arena. In fact, you could probably say he's probably one of the top fighters. His subclass is even a PvP specialty. Oh, isn't that Bulwark? That guy, he's super into the knitting scene here. I understand he is a highly skilled warrior. Uh, sure, man, but you should see his needlework. Just check out that yarn he's wearing around his neck. <laughs> he suddenly <laughs> thrusts his sword towards Truman and says, You, shut up. Oh, Dang. chill, man. I just, come on. I just like You knitting. dorks were here to jump max damage, and we followed you in order to jump you, too. As far as we're concerned... You're the jerks that are involved with him. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not so good at logic, but does that follow? He doesn't no. really seem to care. That's not right. That's not right. Well, I mean, I, I guess. I don't know if my PvP flag is set. Skaggy is... A, is what do we no, do? No, your name's still green. I don't think you're flagged. Gold. Well, Sorry, guys. I mean, we got to go and, and punch this max damage guy first, and then maybe we can talk some more about crafting. <laughs> I just like to draw my blade needlessly where there is no payment involved, but if you insist, we will defend ourselves. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking about fighting you guys no more. What I'm thinking is, is that Max, you know... Max, old buddy, scam me out of some gold a little while back. I'm thinking you need to pay me back. Get bent! Right, who, who's you in this context? All of you. But I'm not max damage. Doesn't matter. I, it does matter. <laughs> They're totally good for it, Bulvark! You can totally shut up, Max. Them. <laughs> God damn it, Max! Shut up! <laughs> I've had it up to here with you. An assassin's only currency is the renown of his peers. <laughs> you could probably get double if you just take it from him. Ah, oh, but where's the fun in that? See, I've already gotten a hold of this world. I understand. This is everything I've ever wanted. And I'm going to start by subjugating you jerks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Subjugating is a very big word for him. Okay, man. I mean, if you want to 
Sever submarinas, I, I guess we'll have to fight. <laughs> if you think you can win, I'll go ahead and send you to Elvis if that's what you want. Okay. Hmm. I've, I've been hoping like... to test my skills against you. Did he yeah. say send us to Elvis? Yeah. yeah. I think he <laughs> meant Elvis. No, he's me on Elvis. To drag you to Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get some mileage out of that joke just yet. Stick around, viewers. Well, Truman cracks his kitty cat knuckles and goes, I guess it's time to party, Nyan. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to grab his staff of healing, but it slips out of his paws. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Opposable thumbs. Do we want to just go ahead and skip the fight? Yeah, well, what else would we do? Well, we could hmm. roleplay out of it, right? If you feel like it. I mean, you guys seem to be set for a fight, though. Now, Truman's just really dumb. Okay, if someone else wants to try to... Yeah, and Shirochi is also seem, seems to be one of her fight. It, yes, it, it is now in character for Shirochi to seek a fight, so he's he's gone. All right, then. Just leave Shirochi to his death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's over. laughs> Look, look, you well, can take it out go, guys. on... Nice you take it out on Rochi's ass. <laughs> That's Master Rochi. Hey, isn't that one of my knives, dude? I hope it. I hope it. Well, it's doing a good job. It has ended many lives. Oh, I, I more designed it for steak, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the hand of a true assassin. Even a blunt, even a blunt knife is deadly. What were you, steak what knife are you saying? It's pretty sharp. Oh no, no, the craftsmanship is extremely fine. I, I use like you have four my whetstones. <laughs> <laughs> you notice this is just going on the uh, the assassin. The assassins and the sorcerers are kind of priming up their range, and the pirate seems to be edging closer to Sirochi. Okay, well, I I don't want you to fight these guys without them being ready. So let's do the thing. Yeah, yeah. Skaggy's gonna well uh, wave his wand and start conjuring. All right. So we have the fight scene transition with a. Yep. Everything turns pixelated, and then. <laughs> Shadows into shards that rain down. We all start doing repeat holding animations. Uh, <laughs> Bulwark seems like the kind of jerk that if I side with him in the fight, it won't benefit me any. Uh-huh. No, he personally has it out for you, it seems. Well, Max... Just roleplay your way out of it. Max is just ready to leave a check, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so... Um, I didn't really talk about it this much, but uh, there's a certain structure to how scenarios are con uh, constructed. So what that was that we just did is called the opening phase. And that's basically setting the tone for what the scenario will be. Uh, basically, after you clear it, you all get a fate point. So if you click your token, that little blue button uh, bubble that pops up, you can go ahead and add a plus one to that. And while you do that, I'll go ahead and start initiatives. Which one? The, Wait, the, the blue, blue one? one? Or the yeah, red the one, one? The blue one. The red Here's, one's for eight. We're putting in a plus one, you said? Yep. It did not change, but... I mean, it, it was already at one. Or do I, I put in the new value, okay. A plus one where? The blue bubble that pops up when you click your token. I got it. It, it was real simple. It was great. Yeah. It worked fine. Oh, I see. I see. I got it. No, I just didn't put a plus one in, so it just stayed one. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, you can do either. You can put in the new value, or you can do a plus or a minus, or... I don't know if you can do multiplication, but... You can definitely do plus or minus. Is initiative a thing that has a roll at all, or is it just no. a thing? Oh, so it's I'm always going to be zero. Part. Until you raise it, yeah. Sub. It can definitely not do multiplication. <laughs> Thank you for testing, sir. And that's 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 how you get to be where I am today. 
testing things. I, I, I dig it. Okay, so there's no briefing phase, so there's nothing that you can do for prep. Um, but we're, so we're going to skip ahead to the setup process. Are there any setup process skills going on to use? Oh! Um, I have my purification barrier. Sure. What do you want to put that on? Um, I think it might be wise to put that on Truman for the moment. It might be wise to Wiser? Yes. So yeah, he's gonna wise. he's gonna get a twenty two right? was barrier. Isn't it twenty four? No, because I got the plus two from. Oh right, because you had the boost last time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've got my monkey barrier. step, but okay, uh, that's a cliff in front of me, right? Well, let me explain what the little numbers are. Uh, basically, it's terrain. Uh, elevation, rather. And um, if you're going... If, well, first off, if you see a square without a number, that's assumed to be zero. Mm -hmm. um, the only way that elevation matters is if you're going up in numbers. And basically what you do is you just subtract the number that you start in from the number that you're going to and then add one to it. And that's how many uh, speed you need. All right. So for the pirate to move to the left square, that would be two... And then it'd be another two to move into Truman Wiser Square because you, the elevation differences. All right. So, but if you tried to move into Soroji Square, it'd be three. Right. So Monkey Step it only lets me move one square, I think. So one square, but you can also suffer the one hate to do another another movement, another square. All right. So can I go into PK Pirates Square and gain? Yeah. I guess two hate. Yeah, absolutely. I do that. I, I like. Do a really graceful jump over there. I'm like, hey, I'm hey, to... I'm pirate. That's not a very good name, though. I know, not very creative. He's getting in with the romance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other setup, or should we start? Uh, I got nothing. All right, we'll start. Me neither. I think I'm good. So we start with Bulvark. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there. And that's why he's a champion. It's true. Minotti, it's your turn. Okay. So. So you get your major move and your minor action? Yeah. Um, I don't actually have any ranged options right now, and nobody needs healing. It's true. You can also go on standby if you feel like it. Which puts you at the bottom of the initiative order. Um, actually, I was going to move over to Sorochi Square. Sure. They're all the same elevation, so it doesn't differ any. Okay. Um, I can't do anything unless I, you know, Okay. So I, I have no ranged attacks. So. <laughs> uh, you can actually do a basic me there, a basic, basic magic attack. I'm sorry. Because you have a magic stone and that lets you take oh. part of the basic magic, which is four squares distant. That was the one thing I didn't slip and Okay. Ah, uh, where did I put the Lock Horizon thing? He didn't think he could act this turn. I thought I had everything folded into one folder, but apparently I didn't. Well, if you want to use that, all you have to do is roll Accuracy, which is 2d6 plus your Accuracy stat. 2d6, okay. My accuracy is five. And who are you targeting? Um, PK Pirate next to Truman. Okay. Sorry, I had to step away for a moment. Did I miss anything? No, everything. Really. We, we won the battle already. Oh, good job, guys. Yeah. I helped. 